Under the Constitution, no? it provides that all uh, trial courts, that means the first level and second level courts, or should promulgate their decision within the 90-day period. But there are some rules that require a shorter period to promulgate the decision. Now, in the case of the uh, Judge Joseph Reyes, you know very well that there are so many accused and there are so many victims in that case. Now, but we also allow uh, meritorious uh, motion for extension, and we understand her predicament, and, uh, we, and we allow her to have an extension of one, one month. But I, as I said, motions for extension are the exception rather than the rule, and we understand her plight, and I hope that she will no longer ask for another extension, so that before the end of the year, that those cases will be finally decided. Of course. The accused are all, are all entitled to what we call the process. But uh, we, adopted, we adopted several ways in order to fast track the resolution of cases. It's good that the parties agreed to, to these uh, tools that were adopted by Judge Jocelyn in order to, uh, as early as possible, resolve the cases. No? So I'm not. I'm frustrated of what happened to the key, to these uh, to the victims. But I think uh, uh, Judge Reyes uh, did her best in order to give justice to the victims and also in order to afford the appeals the required due process of law under the Constitution.